Rocks go. Go. LD. LD is go. MD. MD is go. LD, verify go to initiate terminal count. LC, you are go to initiate terminal count. Copy. Houston, you are go for TLI. Over. Hey, welcome back to part four of my KSP career series. Um, this episode, we're going to be making some major renovations to Tycho Station. This launch here is going to be the first of those. It's responsible for adding a lot of the upgrade capacity to the station. When we last left off, the station was built out, but it needs a lot more docking ports and structure to make it to make it viable for the rest of the career. In the Expanse series, Tycho is a shipyard, and this set of truss work is going to convert the station that we have right now into a proper shipyard. That means we're going to be flying up propellant loading capabilities, fuel storage, and a bunch of docking ports. The truss work is all flat packed, kind of IKEA style, where everything arrives docked separately and needs to be assembled on site. First and foremost, we're going to need to break the station in half to be able to fit the truss assembly in the middle here. I had planned this out in the vehicle assembly building in game, and I just kind of executed the operations I planned ahead of time. The stage docks with the rotating ring section here, and once we're docked up, we can reposition everything and reconnect that second piece we have drifting away there. For the time being, we're just going to need to get it right out of the way so that we don't bump anything and make sure that we don't damage any of those nice solar panels. It's just a pain to rendezvous over and over again, so I try and dock things before they get too far away from each other. One of the other pieces of hardware here is a tug. So this is a liquid fuel and monopropellant tug. It just has the ability to kind of slug around and move objects. So it's gonna do most of the work for extracting these components and ensure that we have a fully assembled shipyard. So this tug is gonna do most of the work. It's going to receive each of these girder segments, reposition them, and then undock the next segment and continue the process until it's fully assembled. So this is sped up quite a bit. This is over 10x speed. Uh, this took a very, very long time because everything is flat packed and I do have to kind of resolve the directions in three axes.
there are more efficient ways to be able to do this. And I now have a better method for doing things that I'm further into my career save but those mods had not yet been installed, so docking at the time was the best way to get it done. So over the course of several hours, I was able to get this thing fully assembled. Everything was going really smoothly until I got to one of the larger girder segments with a solar panel on it. Mounting this solar array is very tricky, so I ended up having to send up an additional tug to come in and help to provide more torque. Having multiple tugs is a huge help because a lot of the time things don't really behave the way you want them to. And I had more than one occasion of So next up, we're gonna have to launch our new orbital tug on an Atlas V. So that takes off with a transfer stage and heads to Minmus. And then we'll need to do our final big upgrade with the fuel tanks.